All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And man, it seems like every day when I come on you know, the internet, I see something cool about Modern Warfare Rebooted. I mean, every time I come on here, there's some new, cool new feature, or there's some pretty exciting news, or there's some leaks. I'm hyped for Thursday, fellas. Cannot wait for the reveal. I mean, this whole thing started when we heard that Infinity Ward hired back their old development team from Respawn. And then they announced that crossplay was going to be coming to Modern Warfare Rebooted. We don't know when. Will it be ready at launch? Who the hell knows? Then they told us there's going to be shared XP across all game modes in Modern Warfare. I mean, whether you're playing campaigns, spec ops, multiplayer, or battle royale. I heard this game is going to have a battle royale. Listen, man, I, I really don't want it to. And my reason is I just don't want... Infinity War to get spread too thin like Treyarch did. I mean, you could tell Treyarch spent so much time working on the Battle Royale or they put so much of their uh, effort and manpower into the Battle Royale that multiplayer just got like completely ignored and they just used a ton of recycled content just to make this mode. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if Infinity War's got like Raven and all these other people helping them out, then fine. But I mean, as long as they got the manpower to handle all these modes and pay attention to all these modes and support all these modes in the game, I'm fine with it. I'm not really a Battle Royale guy, but I just don't want Battle Royale to take away from the multiplayer experience in Modern Warfare like it did here in Black Ops 4. Uh, so we got a bunch of modes coming back. I'm hyped the campaign's coming back and Spec Ops, man. Spec Ops is cool. I might get into Battle Royale this year. I don't know, man. We'll see. Uh, then they told us that they were going to get rid of putting maps in uh, map in uh, the pass. So the maps are going to be for everybody in Modern Warfare this year, fellas. I am so hyped about that, man. And I'm honestly shocked it took them this long to realize. Stop putting map packs as your DLC, your outdated DLC business model. Uh, it's horrible because the map packs already divide a super divided community. And look at that, man. That dude just popped out from behind my Mantis. <laughs> I couldn't see that dude at all, but then my Mantis bodied him. And then the Ballistic Knife dude was going to stop this guy from hacking my street. Shout out to the Ballistic Knife guy, but the match ended. And I don't really understand the Ballistic guy's logic there. I mean, shouldn't you wait until the streaks get hacked, then knife the guy? <laughs> I mean, I would sit there and be like, all right, hack all this dude's streaks. Hack them all. All right, now I'm going to stab you. I mean, that's what I would have done. I don't know. Oh, yeah, watch this too, fellas. Look. What the... <laughs> What in the world is up with these damn care packages, man? That dude just popped out, and then my Mantis just bodied him, dude. <laughs> that dude just popped out of nowhere, and I couldn't see him at all. And he had the Mog, so RIP to me. Uh, all right, so maps for everybody. That's a huge step. Then they came out and said that uh, we're going to have a new engine. Yeah, there's going to be a new engine, man. So I was super hyped about a new engine coming back to Modern Warfare. Then they said they're going to have the gunsmith uh, ability in Modern Warfare, which looks really cool. All those attachments, man. You can put five attachments on a weapon, and some weapons can have up to nine attachments. Attachments galore. Probably attachment variants and supply drops. Probably. Most likely. Most likely. But listen, man. I don't care how many attachments they let us put on the gun. If I can't hang this fresh toilet bowl, if I can't hang this toilet bowl off the side of my weapon, I'm going to be mad. Yo, did you see that guy? That dude, like... <laughs> He flew, that dude flew up onto the wall. Uh, the movement in Modern Warfare, I don't think it'll be as fast as this. And I don't know if I like that or not, because I went back and played some COD World War II recently, fellas. Oh, my goodness. You want to talk about slow? <laughs> oh, my God, the camping. And the people just... I'll never understand COD World War II. Why people won't leave the spawn? Like, people will spawn and just sit in their spawn head glitch spot. And they, they just won't move. They'll just wait for you. It's so weird, but anyway, but that's Team Deathmatch, but they probably don't play like that in other modes. Just Team Deathmatch people are probably just weird in that game. So, Gunsmith coming back, and then you got the TAC Infiltration, the new cinematic way to enter a map, uh, which looks a lot like Titanfall. A lot of people were saying that copying Titanfall. Listen, man, they copy everybody, dude. They're copying everybody. I mean, that's just a sad thing about Call of Duty. Call of Duty was like on top. They were like the game. They were the game everybody wanted to be. Now Call of Duty wants to be like everybody else. It's just Call of Duty definitely has an identity crisis, but I don't care. Just put together a fun game. I don't care who you're stealing ideas from. Make a fun game and I'll be fine. Uh, they also, we heard leaks that the tactical nuke was coming back. I mean, bro, just so many awesome, awesome leaks. And now we have this. 
Another cool feature coming to Modern Warfare. It looks like you're going to be able to have a wristwatch on your character that's going to show you uh, real world time. So you could look over at your watch while you're playing the game right on your soldier's arm there, which would probably be super detailed with this new engine. And you could see what time it is. So, And I don't know if this is a smart move from Infinity Ward and Activision. Why would you want to let these guys know what time it is? I mean, don't you want people staying on this game, playing this game for as long as possible? I mean, like when you go into a casino, right? When you go into a casino, there's no windows in there. There's no clocks up on the wall. They want you to completely forget about what time it is and just be completely immersed in their uh, money trap there, the casino money trap. Oh, by the way, I know you guys are seeing my emblem right now. No one cares about your Twitch, YouTube. Ha ha ha. Yo, bro, this is just funny, man. <laughs> I just had to make this because I saw somebody else with this emblem and I stole it, man. I stole it. I stole the emblem, bro. There's just so many people. Yo, there's so many Twitch streamers and YouTubers in these lobbies. now, man, I just do it just to troll, man. <laughs> I don't really mean it. And I know that you know, being on YouTube and streaming on Twitch, a lot of people do this as a job now. And uh, it definitely does take effort. It's not easy, man. People think this is easy. Trust me. Especially if you do it every day. It is not easy coming up with stuff to talk about, man. I mean, look at your boy. I'm over here talking about a watch. I'm over here talking about a card watch, man. Yo, that'd be a nice pre-order bonus, man. You pre-order Modern Warfare and get the uh, Captain Price Paddock. <laughs> Paddock Philippe. Captain Price uh, edition, Captain Price variant of the Paddock, or Rolex, or Apple Watch. You, you know, I got an Apple Watch. I get the Apple Watch 4. Pretty cool, man. Like, I'll be in the supermarket. Somebody will call me, and I'll just be, like, talking into my watch. Guys are like, yo, are you, like, some kind of secret agent? I'm like, nah, man, I just got the Apple Watch. <laughs> People are like, you some kind of spy? I'm like, nah, bro. That's what you're going to see in the future, man. People are just going to be talking into their watches. Man, technology's crazy, bro. Never in my life did I think I'd be having a conversation with somebody talking into my damn watch. Like, we are, life is turning into Star Trek, man. It's crazy out here. Oh, yeah, check it out, fellas. Your boy's about to a uh, little summer barbecue coming up. Ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Hold on, man. Let me get the grilling station ready. Ooh, yeah. We're going to flame broil some sweats. Ooh. Sweaty-ass Seraph with a Maddox hopping around a corner. Come on in. Get barbecued, girl. Look at this dude. Boots on the ground, Cod? I don't think so, man. Get barbecued, son. Ooh, flame broiled. Ooh, flame broiled. <laughs> I love the purifier, man. Look at this. This purifier is amazing, man. Oh, yeah. Watch this dude right here. Ooh, booty oiled four. Come on in. The damn, that dude was sliding down the stairs on his greasy booty. Had to hit him with a flamethrower, baby. Had to hit him with that mixtape, son. Straight fire, baby. <laughs> I'm kind of going to miss the special abilities, man. Not going to lie. The, the purifier is so much fun. Uh, I used to run Nomad a lot, but now I run the Purifier a lot more just because so many people run cold-blooded now The dog is super weak and free-for-all a ton of people run engineer So the trip mines are kind of like kind of useless plus I have trouble linking them up They don't always link up for me as you guys know got the sniper's nest putting in some work Look at this dude get body some call in the thresher and yeah, man. I had to, I had to put the uh, oh guess my I had to retire The mantis because half the time the mantis don't even come on the map, dude Plus, I don't know what's going on with that weird bounce. Uh, this game is just really weird, man. Anyway, fellas, so. Oh, yeah. A little Hot Pocket Pro time. So look at this. Hot Pocket Pro. Damn. <laughs> For the win, baby. Yo, Firebreak is too much fun, man. Bringing the heat. Bringing that flame to the sub box, baby. <laughs> anyway, fellas, so listen. Just like everything else in Call of Duty. I see people complaining about the wristwatch feature displaying the real time already. There's already people complaining, saying this is a useless feature. Who cares? I mean, dude, I, I don't know. There's a lot of people that play COD and lose track of time. I mean, now when you're playing Call of Duty, you could be like, oh, snap, I got to get ready for school. I got to get ready for work. You know, this is cool. I'm glad they put a watch that shows the real time in the game. About all oh, them prestige masters, them like, uh, you know, 30 day prestige masters. They're like already prestige master. Or, uh, Less than a month before the game's released. Now they could be like, damn, have I really been down here playing COD for 12 hours? I gotta stop. I got stuff to do. I gotta go outside. Maybe, maybe this will save some prestige masters, man. You never know. People look down at their watch and be like, damn, I've been really sweating down here for the last 12 hours? Man, I gotta go outside. I got some chores to do. I mean, this, like I said, I don't know why Infinity Ward's putting a watch that's gonna let people know how much time they've been playing this game for. Oh, I think it's gonna bite them in the butt. Like I said, oh, look at you, look at your boy, spamming ADS. Ooh, see, I'm turning MLG, man. I'm turning MLG with the Maddox. Does COD World League have an age limit? I don't know, but anyway, fellas, looks like Modern Warfare Rebooted is going to be one heck of a good time, and I cannot wait for Thursday. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out. Peace.